Okay, so you want to know how to make an easy and reliable power source to power anything that you need in your base. Well, this is the right video. I'm going to give you an easy guide to follow along with so you can set this up in no time. So in these two rows, you're going to see what you need for the wiring part of this. And obviously that excludes any power sources such as wind turbines or solar panels. Alright, so let's get into how to build this. The first thing we're going to place down is our ore switch. And right under it, two electrical branches. And to the right of that, we're going to place one blocker and one splitter. From here, you could take another branch, put it up top, and put your counter anywhere, but I find here is pretty convenient. Then you're going to want to go ahead and put your root combiner right under the blocker. From here, we could take our two batteries and place them anywhere we want. Make sure that these parts are facing outwards because that's the part that we're going to be connecting to. Okay, first things first is we're going to set up our power source. As you can see, I have two wind turbines and four solar panels. To connect all these, we're going to need root combiners. So I'm going to be using a total of five root combiners. So it's actually really simple because all you have to do is just find the electricity output from the solar panel and put it into one of the power slots of the root combiner and do that for each solar panel. Now once you're here, you can combine these two root combiners into one more root combiner, meaning that all four of these solar panels power is coming out of this one root combiner. Now we're gonna connect the wind turbines. It's the exact same. We're gonna just find the power out of the wind turbine and put it into one of the power slots in the root combiner grab the other one and do the same thing. Now we're going to take these two root combiners and put them into one more root combiner, meaning that all of our electricity from both all of the solar panels and wind turbines is going to come out of this one. And as you can see, we have about 226 power coming out. Now this is going to change because of the wind turbines uh, and the change of the wind. And actually this is a pretty low number for the wind turbines to be taking out. And the way to combat that is just putting your wind turbines higher. So what I've done here is I've replicated what a normal average size clan base would be, about five building blocks high. And if this is roof, that would mean you have to go up five more levels to get this kind of power. But then again, you also have to take into consideration your location. So right now I'm building on a hill, kind of mountain area, but I know a lot of clan bases like to build on more flat areas and uh, level to the sea. So you have to take that into consideration as you're building all your electronics and adjust just how many solar panels you need or how many wind turbines you want. So now that we got that out of the way, let's connect our 104 output now instead of 73 to one of these root combiners and we'll take the other end and connect it to the other wind turbine so now that we have all four solar panels and the two wind turbines connected into one root combiner we have almost 300 output which is pretty good and now we can begin on the rest of the wiring so you're going to want to grab this output and run it down to wherever you have your electricity stuff set up i always like to have mine set up in one dedicated room of the base but you can do whatever you want. Now the first thing we're going to connect is right here. We're going to connect right into this electrical branch from the bottom and that's coming from your power sources. From here you're going to want to run the power outside of the electrical branch into the run right next to it. Then you're going to take the branch outside and run it into input A to the OR switch. Now from here you're going to take the power out from the second electrical branch and run it straight into the top of the splitter. Then you're going to take the branch outside from the electrical branch and run it into the side of the blocker right next to it. Now you're going to run the top of the blocker, which is power out, into input B on the OR switch. You're then going to take the power out of the root combiner and put it into the power in on your blocker. Then you can take one of the power outs of the splitter and run it into the power in on the battery. Take another power out from the splitter and do the same thing to the other battery. Now we're going to take the power out and run it into the root combiner. 
and again do the same for the other battery. Now take the right side of this electrical branch and put it into the power in of the counter that you placed earlier. Now we're going to want to see how much power we're getting from our wind turbines and solar panels. As you can see, we're getting around 375, but that doesn't stay constant, and the lowest that we saw it at was about 300. So we're going to take our base number as 300. So basically, however much power you're getting, you're going to want to divide it in half and put that number in here. So we're just going to put 150, which is a pretty good uh, output. So what that does is it sets a maximum amount of electricity that can come out of this wire right here because it's on the left side, which is 150. We set it to 150 because a stable number that we saw our power coming out at is around 300, and half of that is 150. The other half is going to go through this right side into this electrical branch. And what you could just do here is you could just leave this normal. You don't have to change any numbers here because what's that doing is it's sending one electricity into this blocker, which stops any of the battery power from kicking in as long as we have power coming in through here. And since we're only outputting two to this left side, we're still outputting 147 into the splitter because the electrical branch takes one electricity. So what this does now is it splits the power evenly amongst the two batteries, charging them. So as you can see, there's 62 power coming in here and 62 power coming in here. And if you look at these stats, it's currently charging. And if you look at the output of both of these batteries, they're 100 each, which means that through this root combiner, they're technically 199 because the, the root combiner uses one electricity, but in theory, it's 200 electricity. So what we should actually do is try to match this number in this electrical branch. So we're going to put 199 in here and you'll see why in a second. Now what that means is it's pulling 199 out of the 250 power into your base, which leaves about 52 power left to charge your batteries during the day, which is plenty. So what's going to happen at night is our solar panels are going to cut out, which is 80 of our power, which means that from 266 minus 80, it's not going to be able to reach 199. So that means all the power is going to go into the left side because it can't even reach 199, which means none of the power is going into the right side, which then means that the blocker is going to be unblocked. And since these two batteries have more power than the electrical branch coming from our power sources, that means the batteries are going to take over during the nighttime. So this is basically the whole circuit. It's really simple and it's really easy to follow. I'll leave this on screen so that you can see which way the dotted lines are going so you can more easily see where you should be connecting if you got confused. So all there is to do from here is to connect this branch out to anything you need to power in your base. So let's say I want to power these four auto turrets. What I need to do is put down two branches since there's four auto turrets. Now I need to connect both sides of the branch to an auto turret. And what we're going to do here is set this number to 10 because each auto turret takes 10 power. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Now what we're going to do here is since we only have four auto turrets and that's all we're powering in our base, each auto turret takes 10 power. So that's 40 power. And each electrical branch only takes one power. So we're going to need to output 42 power from this electrical branch so that we get enough to power all four of our turrets. And now what we need to do is since we're connecting to more than one electrical branch, we're going to have to put another electrical branch down. So all you have to do is just take this branch out and connect it to the power in to this branch. And from here, actually, we need to change this number to 43 since we're adding another electrical branch. So now all you have to do is connect these two outputs into your two other electrical branches powering your turrets. And as you can see, only those turrets powered on because we have it set to two in here, which means this line is only giving out two power, which isn't enough to power these turrets. So what we need to do is we need to change this to 21 power because we need to take an account for this electrical branch, which takes one power and the two turrets, which takes 10 power each. Now that we have this set up, we can actually change this to show pass through to see how much power we have left, which we can see is 154. This is because we have about 197 power coming out of this electrical branch and we set the left side to 43, 
which gives us a remainder of 154. So what we can do from here is we can actually add a switch so we can control whether we want the certs on or off. All we would have to do is just clear that, grab your switch, take the electrical input from the switch, and put it to the branch out of this electrical branch. And we take the output and run it into the input of this electrical branch. And then again, we're gonna have to add one more power to this electrical branch because we're adding another electrical component. Then all I have to do is just turn the switch on and all the turrets will power up. Now, if we wanted to add more, such as a SAM turret, what we can do is we could just clear this, add another branch, take this power out, put it into the input of that, and we can run the left side all the way to our SAM turret. Now the SAM turret takes 25 power, so all we need to do is since it's a direct connection, we just need to change this number to 25. And as you can see, the green light from the SAM turret is on, which means it's receiving enough power. Now from here, we can take the right side of the electrical branch and run it back into the counter to see how much power we have left, which is 127. You don't need the counter, but I always recommend it so you can see how much power you have left over. And there you go. It seems really complicated, but it's actually a really simple circuit because the actual circuit is only this little part down here. These are just all the extras that we added. And obviously you can change up how much power you branch out depending on how much power you receive. That's what sets this design apart from many other designs being used. Obviously the more power you have, the more batteries you can have, and the more consistent power you can have running to your base. Thanks for watching my easy guide on how to make this circuit. If you found this helpful, it'd be great if you could drop a like or a subscribe. And also, follow me on Twitch if you're interested in seeing any of my live streams. Even though this tutorial seems like a lot, there's still tons of electricity that I haven't covered yet. So if you want to see any other kind of circuit, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video about it. Thank you for watching.